Welcome to episode nine of the Afterthoughts podcast. We did it, where we share our thoughts after stuff. Rapid fire, three of us. Okay. Yep. Nine things you love about this podcast, starting with Doug. All nine? We got it. Well, we're going to each, it'll be nine. Three rounds, three by three. Oh, okay. Um, man, I love uh, having coffee. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I love uh, episode two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love uh, Jacob. Uh -huh. I love lamp. Questions with Kayla. Oh, okay, good. Uh, I love banter. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man. Um, I love uh, the jokes. I think these are these jokes are top notch, mm -hmm. better than any other podcast I've ever listened to. <laughs> yeah. Agreed with that. Yeah. The hats are amazing. Uh -huh. Hats, hats the, off. I was gonna hats say off the, to that. Oh wait, Doug, can you help me with this last uh, number nine? Oh. If you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna chime <laughs> Go in. Go ahead and chime in. With number nine, my favorite, <laughs> that's my favorite part of the show. You like to chime in. Chiming in. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the literal, the literal chimes themselves, people have been writing in saying oh, we need man. more chimes. So They've, we'll make sure. Do any of your neighbors have chimes? Give the people what they want. I feel like um, it reminds me of 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Every time I hear it, I don't know why. I mm -hmm. have like childhood memories of, of chimes. Simpler times, mm -hmm. better times. Not for all. Okay. <laughs> Kayla's back. Welcome back, hey. Kayla. Woo! Kayla's married, married now. Congratulations. Thank you, Miss. From Hot all Singer. of us at the Afterthoughts Podcast. <laughs> Thank you guys Congratulations. so much. Congratulations. Yep. That means so much. On your nuptials. <laughs> there, are, there are dozens of people right now oh, just yeah. cheering. Oh, cheering oh, for yeah. you. Did yep. you happen yeah. to hear any of Emily's work filling in for you? Any feedback, yes. critiques yeah. for her? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. What do you think? She killed it. Uh, I think she should just take my name. You want us to call her Kayla too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she could pass. Do you want us to still call you Kayla? You can call me Emily. Emily? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Oh, this is going to get confusing. Questions with Emily. <laughs> I, will, I will address the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. We had a really tough weekend. <laughs> tough. <laughs> tough sports. I, had, yeah. I literally had people texting me like, dude, I am so sorry. Yeah. For which game? Both. Both games. <laughs> we had, I was. This, <laughs> I, the buffs, I'm not, I'm not worried. No. Coach They're Prime said, back. get us now. This is the worst we'll ever be. And I believe him. We're going to bounce mm -hmm. back. Yeah. But the Broncos. <laughs> what was the score? 70, 70 to 20. So we scored 20. We scored 20. 70 to 20. Well, we lost by 50, though, so let's not get <laughs> Dude, yeah, For an NFL team to give up 70. Yeah. They could that's, have set the record, and they just had mercy. That's tough. What was, what's the record? Like 72, 72 or something. <laughs> okay. We're right there. <laughs> they were with history. The door. Yeah. That side of history. <laughs> but they feel these too hats, bad to even these go for the record. are right here. Yeah. <laughs> because these are our Tell teams. us why. Good, bad, or ugly. These That's are our right. teams. That's right. We will always hold on to hope and always be loyal. No bandwagon fans at this table. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Not worried. Pretty worried. Okay. <laughs> uh, questions with Kayla. Yeah. Come on. Yay. Okay. Let's on go. the sports-related note. Yep. So question one, if you could be at any game in sports history, what game question. would you be at? Wow. Mm, that already happened. Can I make one up in the future? No. I was going to say, probably when the Mighty Ducks faced off against the Mighty Iceland team oh. <laughs> in the nice. Junior Goodwill Games. Dude. And, um, yeah, penalty came penalty out, shots. Yeah. Came, out, came down to a shootout. That's right. Yep. Intense. Man. Oh, my gosh, man. All the and drama Adam over Banks, Coach Bombay. Adam Banks man. with a sprained wrist. I woke up. And the pain, the was, pain gone. was gone. Oh, man. That's a good one, Doug. Yeah, good, good answer. Really good one. Ryan? I'm going to say... Uh, the Buffs won the national championship in 1990. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good I would have loved to have been there. Okay. Very good. Uh, I'll go with uh, Broncos for a Super Bowl, John Elway helicopter. Yes, of course. Pretty awesome. Yeah, that's great. Great question. Yeah. That is Thank a great so question. Much. Do you have an answer? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> and honorable mention when Tiger won the Masters in 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, or the man. first time Tiger won the Masters. Yeah, also, anytime. I think 97. Yeah. You remember we were at Gather. Uh, when Tiger won the Masters in, in 2019, 2019 yeah. Gather was the, the first location of our church, and we mm -hmm. had to set up and tear down. Mm -hmm. And we were out yeah. back in that awesome, yeah, the place where we kept all the chairs, yep. just watching him. Ah, that was such yeah. a good amazing. day, amazing. Or the the Super Bowl, Patriots versus the Falcons, the comeback when it was 28 to three. That was a yeah, game. I would I been... think was the score with like three minutes left in the in the third quarter. Yeah, 
Yeah. 28-3. I would have been insufferable to be around at the, if I was at that game. <laughs> <laughs> so mad. So mad. Not over it still. Oh, or the man. Giants-Patriots game. Oh, oh man. man. There we go. David Tyree. And then he caught it. We were in a lot of good answers Dominican here. Republic watching that game together. Remember that? Yep. That's right. Yeah. Uh, 2007 Rockies, when they won game four of the NLCS yes. to go to the World Series, I was in San Diego and I cried. Or the playing game when we won. Matt Holliday. Todd Helton. The playing game. <sighs> Ooh. Tagging up from so third. So many good options. The Nuggets just won the NBA championship. That I don't know if we've mentioned that. In game, we in are, game seven? Nuggets no, was game five. 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 Game five. Uh, we mm -hmm. are NBA champions on That's this right. podcast also, wow. just to throw that out there. All right, wow. Kayla, great question. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that answers okay. it. Okay, just choose from those options. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, all right, if you could be in any animated show, so not a real show, like animated show or movie, mm. what would you be in? I know the answer for you. What? Think about your name. Oh, I live that life out every day. <laughs> it's a good show. Doug? Yeah, I love that show. So good. Roger Klotz. <laughs> Roger yeah. Klotz and Skeeter Valentine. I've always been a, been a Skeeter <laughs> guy. I would say Rocket Power for sure. I was going to say Rocket Power because too. Nice. Yes. It's not realistic, yeah. obviously. <laughs> but These kids are nine years old. Fun. <laughs> oh, they're so good at surfing. Any so animated <laughs> show? Yeah. Or, or movie. movie. Wow. Okay, hold on. Gosh, there's so many options out there. You can go old or new movies. Land Before Time. <laughs> Land Before Time. Get to... See, that would be <laughs> see my son Zeke's answer. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll just tell you guys something funny. It has nothing to do with this, but Zeke's playing t-ball, and there's a kid on his team named Major, but Zeke... There's some words he hears, and he just doesn't say them right, yeah, uh -huh. and he just calls this kid Nature. <laughs> nature. <laughs> and he's positive 50 he's times, saying it right. 50 times a game. No, nature Zeke, or Nature? Zeke, Zeke, it's Major. Yeah, Nature. Yeah, Nature. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Funny kid, dude. Yep. Good, good crew. <laughs> um, uh, shout out to Coach Ethan, by the way. Big win oh, on Saturday. Well, T-ball. Yeah. <laughs> Filled in as head coach and got the W. <laughs> Both teams win. But Man, you and Deion Sanders are just <laughs> yeah. like two I texted Ryan. I was like, crazy that me and Deion are coaching on the same <laughs> yeah, day with big true. games. <laughs> yeah, is it, it's crazy, it's, huh? Uh, <laughs> is it similar? <laughs> is, the, is crazy the right word? <laughs> is crazy the right word? <laughs> Man, this is too good of a question. Did yeah, you have anything? Um, I was trying to think of, I mean, Encanto. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Encanto? Encanto? It <laughs> sounds cooler when you say Encanto. Either way, man. Yeah. Um, That's the one about the house? Yeah. Yeah, and the, and Steph, the family that all has those Steph gifts. Steph called me Uncle Bruno after that because of my hair. Yeah. <laughs> that was a low point for we me. We don't talk about Bruno. Yeah, she sang that at me. <laughs> she sang it at you? Pray, you guys pray for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, I pray for you every day. <laughs> Should. I need it. I need it. I'll say What's Aladdin so I can have the magic carpet. Oh, okay. yeah. Dream realized. Yeah. That was my favorite movie as a kid. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Wow. <laughs> What's your answer? Well, the only one that's like really coming to mind right now is the Mario movie that I just recently saw. So good. There's just movie. a lot going on. And who, I was like, who would you want to be in that? Yeah, it's fast paced. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's good. It's like so much. Toad. Remember, we, uh, when we took, the, uh, we took Will and Zeke to go see the Mario movie, uh -huh. and it was like eight guys and then Will and Zeke sitting in the middle. And Zeke, Ethan's son Zeke, um, is a question asker. Maybe yeah. the best question asker <laughs> yeah. um, or most consistent question Curi asker. Curious chap. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so he probably asked you mm -hmm. 300 questions. <laughs> I'm not like, exaggerating. Unanswerable questions. <laughs> right. Yeah, I leaned over to Ryan and I was like, imagine having to answer questions for this movie that is already <laughs> fic so unexplainable if you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Maybe. why is Bowser playing the piano <laughs> and sing? I'm like, there's so much we'd have That's... to talk about in order for me to answer that question. <laughs> Not a lot of why answers. <laughs> no. Hopefully his friend Nature can answer some of those questions. I'll <laughs> uh, call Nature. Get Nature on the phone. Nature is awesome. Mm -hmm. This is a cool kid. When Nature calls. <laughs> yeah. Okay, last silly question. Um, what movie, show, or book, Ryan, um, can you quote? <laughs> <laughs> Just points to Ryan. <laughs> Is that because Doug and Ethan can't read? Correct. Um, That's because your best friends are books. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Yes. Can you yes, quote the most? Can Wait, we quote the most? That? Sorry. Yeah. So repeat it. What movie, show, or book can oh. you quote the most? Oh, man. 
Wedding I mean, Crashers. I, I have 20 answers. Doug, the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, great book. The book's actually yeah. better than the movie. Yeah. <laughs> By the guy from The Notebook. Yeah, yeah it's really good. <laughs> yep. Powerful. Oh, Doug's yeah. answer is just any movie that he ever watches. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> I can quote from start to finish the original Top Gun. Mm-hmm. I'm working on the new Top Gun. It's getting yes. there. Good. Okay. I'm glad you're spending time on that. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't have to even, well, every time I'm on a flight back it. from Denver, it's mm-hmm. on United's Wi-Fi. Yeah. And so go. I just watch Top Beautiful. Gun Maverick. It's kind of like my tradition. Yep. And then um, Lion King. Yep. Yeah. Remember the Titans. Mm-hmm. Um, the Office. I'd say All probably of The true. Office. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. of this is true. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say Lion King. Nice. Yeah. Okay. When my brother and I were kids, we memorized uh, the Santa Claus. You are good at that. Yeah. <laughs> that whole movie. We recited it on a road trip. In the yeah. back, imagine being my parents on that road trip. An hour and a half, we went through the entire movie. Yep. No wonder your dad gave you that rule that if you guys don't talk for an entire state. Oh, yeah, you can say a cuss word. Yeah, you should tell everybody that because it's a great parenting yeah. strategy. Every time we, if we were behaved in the car, every time we crossed a state line, we could cuss. <laughs> one time. <laughs> one to get one word. People and my say brother, we rarely give parenting advice uh, on, this, on this show, but take here it, you go. Take it from Justin. Yeah. It's my so brother phenomenal. was always the much more tame, good person of yeah. the two of us. And he no. would, you know, say like very minor ones and I would try them all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, try them all out. It's a good tradition. My mom just looking at my dad like, what are you thinking? What would you say the most quoted movie between the three of us is? Wedding Crashers? Moneyball. The Hangover. The Hangover. <laughs> Moneyball. Wedding Crashers. The Dark Moneyball, Knight. Mate. Dark Knight. The Dark Knight Rises. Probably, Probably yeah. those. Yeah. 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 Something about Project. Mary. Yeah, so many. Do you guys want to talk about how we did a movie list, your top 10, and they were basically the same Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Nobody, nobody knew if Chris, it was... Chris had our whole staff give top 10 movie lists anonymously and then he would read them to the rest of the staff and we'd have to try to guess whose it was yeah. and it was so tough between the three of us because it was Basically all the same. the same list. Six out of 10 were the same. <laughs> yeah. And that was, yeah, that was Moneyball, The Dark Knight, Wedding Crashers. Uh-huh. Um, Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> I can't remember my list, but it was good. Oh, it was so good. Yeah. yeah. I remember mine being the best. <laughs> that was just objective. That's not subjective. Right. Everybody's, everybody's still talking about it. Maybe if we did that with books, it'd be different, though. <laughs> Let's do it right now. No. Which what's, book your, what's your favorite book? Like, if you had to just read one book for the rest of your life, can't say the Bible. You got to say that. Yeah, it's not the Bible. Bible. <laughs> um, I, I think... Wait, are we talking um, Most, fiction or nonfiction? Any book. Just, just, just let's pick do one. Let's do one that's oh, fiction okay. and then one that's <laughs> Kayla, you have jurisdiction here on questions. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. <laughs> one fiction, one nonfiction? Yeah. yeah. All right. Man, 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 man. I mean, Harry Potter, I'm just going to go hit Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince as my favorite wow. fiction book. I love that book nice. that I've ever read. Just to mix it up, I'll say Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Close second, mm-hmm. um, but I'll that be, series. I'll be praying for you guys. That series for all three of us, <laughs> except for you because you didn't partake. Was just huge. Yikes! Cut this part out, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will be mad. Just, just bleep Harry let's, Potter. Let's, let's table that question. Let's Beat table Potter. that question though, because <laughs> there's too. Yeah, let's let's answer at the end. Okay, come back with books at the end. Yeah. All right. All Don't right. let it distract you though. Teaser. What a great way to get people to listen Whoa. to this thing until the end. I want to know what. Doug's favorite fiction or nonfiction <laughs> book is? Everybody's been wondering about this. Do you have any more questions? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. We somehow turned this into more questions. Yeah, what about your favorite book? <laughs> <laughs> our Did whole you? strategy Our whole strategy this morning was let's get to the let's distraction part as fast as we can. We know that we're going <laughs> to talk for too questions. long. <laughs> what God are your top us? 10 favorite books of all time? <laughs> Kayla, go ahead. Okay. All right. Now on more serious now. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Let's skip this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why so serious, Caleb? <laughs> Don't make Ethan go down the ladder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so a week later. Yeah. I'm healed, so you can be yeah. me now. Yeah. For sure, sure, dude. All through Ryan's yeah. support. All good now. I don't you, you seem healed. <laughs> I feel I feel lovable now. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can just I could sense it on you. Here's a guy. Yeah. A I'm non-anxious no, presence. No wounds <laughs> over there. Kayla, are you glad you're back? Yeah. Aren't you so glad you're not still on your honeymoon and you're sitting here doing this? 
<laughs> Sorry for this guy. Close second. Yeah. I mean, stable this is as can be. Mm-hmm. Basically, like it. <laughs> Not running away from deep questions just no. immediately. I'll go first. What's the serious question? <laughs> What's the biggest thing you've been praying for lately? Oh, hey. great question. Biggest thing I've been praying for. Um, I mean, obvious is my wife and my kids, but on a personal level, I think like a settling mm-hmm. of myself of, uh, I feel like I'm just easily frustrated in my life recently and I don't like that. So some, some settling. Nice. Okay. Is that good deep <laughs> enough for you guys? <laughs> Go ahead. I, I thought it was great. I forgot my water. You guys had something. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how he gave a great answer and then he had to like, <laughs> yeah, immediately. it was like really a good moment. And then he had to just sort of ruin it by I going gotta get out of here. humor. I yeah. got to get some water. Is that good enough for you guys? Oh, cue the laughter. Cause I can only stay in this for about 12 What's seconds. one way that I can run out of the room <laughs> as quickly as possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go um, ahead, Ryan. I think my prayer all year has been, um, I live in my head all the time. Mm -hmm. So I tend to get stuck in my own mind, Mm -hmm. um, which I've come to learn is a great gift, but it's also a burden. Um, And so my biggest prayer has been, God, would you help me take the the plunge from my head to my heart and trying to uh, prepare sermons for my heart, trying to create for my heart, trying to be present for my heart to actually feel emotions <laughs> and, yeah. you know, Throw, stuff like that. Stones, <laughs> Yo, <yeah. laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> the only reason I do is because it's just me to a T. <laughs> and so trying my best to name my emotions and actually feel them and sit in them. Mm. Uh, nice. That has been my prayer. Probably find you're more creative that way. All the, the good creative energy i found comes from my heart it's like better to be more efficient Mm -hmm. like you can write a sermon that's just like a mind sermon but then i'll get to the end of it and be like there's nothing here like this is so surface level describe a moment in the last year where you were like that i was i felt the most creative i have ever felt what was the setting uh i was in fallbrook in san diego with our good friend sam ellis and his family has like a little getaway place with orange groves and avocado trees Mm -hmm. and i woke up early made myself a cup of coffee and then uh it was like a crisp morning um hanging out reading my bible a little bit and then i walked down to pick a few oranges and put them through the juicer and was sipping on some freshly squeezed orange juice Mm -hmm. and i just felt i had a hundred ideas yeah. immediately yep you know mm-hmm. but and this we'll get into this a lot of that was just not being distracted by yes. everything else uh-huh so yep absolutely segue if you will um, i will not because Doug needs <laughs> oh if you will in a little bit thank you ethan and then i will <laughs> um the biggest prayer for me recently um and i talked about this in the addiction message a few weeks ago um and getting off prescription medication but all of that for chronic head and neck pain, which I've had for 12 years. And I have had a long pessimistic season where I'm like, I'm always going to have this Mm -hmm. and it's not going to be healed. Um, And I, you know, over the last year have been like, no, there has got to be, I I have felt uh, not defeated Mm -hmm. recently Mm -hmm. and pray for this and pursue healing. And um, there has got to be, uh, life beyond that. And I feel like I'm making bigger strides than I have, um, you know, in 10 years with him. And so I'm running hard for it. So that's my biggest prayer right now. Nice. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Good work. And also I'm praying for new friends. All right, let's, uh, (laughs) let's talk about distraction. Distraction. Are your phones off? Mine's on do not disturb. Mine is Is off. Undistracted. And away. Hold on, let me film this, guys. <laughs> Get a picture of you Post guys. This. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just record this on your phone. Ready? Hold Distraction on. free. Hold on. Man, that's great. We'll Change send the world. it to Jacob. He can put it in the episode. <laughs> kind of a meta. Very creative. 
All right, you know what? I'm going to put mine on Do Not Disturb, man. Good job, Just Doug. Just like you. Wow. Yep. Uh, great sermon on distraction. Yes, Thanks. Doug. Good work. Certainly something that if we're talking about killing the things that are killing us. Yeah. Uh, you talked about a like a dystopia of distraction like yes, this is yeah. this state that we now live in right. oh man it's not a periodic part of life it is just the mode of life yes mm-hmm. uh-huh and phil knight knows something that the rest of us don't mm-hmm. let's throw that picture back up of lebron's record-breaking shot and everybody, everybody. at crypto arena has got their phones out except for phil knight yep phil knight and he looks just so cool in, yeah. in the moment because he's just watching it through his eyes not through the lenses of his camera mm-hmm. yeah so. yep uh at every wedding now most weddings that we officiate oh, they yeah. ask us when we, hey go out there tell people keep your phones in your purses and your pockets yeah just experience our wedding mm-hmm. just be present mm-hmm. at this important moment um which is that's so wild that it's such a norm that we, yeah. the first thing we have to say is, by the way, be present here, please. I was trying to think about like, when we were in high school, mm-hmm. dating ourselves, we're older, uh, how much like were cell phones out? Because we had flip phones, T9 texting. Yeah. The iPhone came out right when we were, you know, getting into college. Mm-hmm. I, I don't got... even really remember cell phones other than just like, you'd group text your friends or whatever to find yeah. out what was going on that night. But yeah. then once you're all hanging out, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a, my first cell phone when I was a sophomore in high school, mm-hmm. I believe. And I, I do have a few memories of like getting in trouble for texting your buddies. Yeah. You know, and you're like holding it down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but not very often at all. There wasn't much you could do yeah, <laughs> on right? flip phones right? besides from text yeah. and call yeah. and play Snake. It's funny because every once in a yeah. while, oh, yeah. me and Sam will that put soccer, on that soccer game. soccer game on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll put on one of the TV shows. Like I, They're very similar, The O.C. and One Tree Hill. They mm-hmm. came out around the same time. Mm-hmm. In high school, Sam watched you know, One Tree Hill. And in college, we loved The O.C. because of the setting, Southern California. And, but, the, and the drama. Oh, mm-hmm. we love it. We and love we it, it, don't we? And because of Seth Cohen, oh, one man. of the greatest characters of all yeah. time. He is. And Sandy Cohen. Yes. Anyways. Yes. Great. <laughs> Great day. Um, um, it, it's so like, we'll go back and watch it and they're all like at a, a party or mm-hmm. hanging out together. Nobody's on a phone ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not mm-hmm. because, you know, the writing is like, we're not going to, we're going to have them just be present. It's just, that was the, yeah, it was 2004. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everybody at this party was engaging with everybody else at this party. Yeah, Damn. and having good conversations. People were great at talking to each other. Wow, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Um, people were better with social cues, and people mm-hmm. were more charming. You know, all these basic, yeah. cool things about yeah. human connection that we're just seeing um, less and less of. Yeah. And so we'll watch those and just sort of, kind of get like get inspired a little bit because yeah. we're like, I want to, I want to be that again. And then also a little bit sad. Yeah, because you go, man, I feel like, I feel like phones took something from all of us Mm. yeah there's a so cal newport he wrote a book called deep work and so he talks about those moments where you are having some fresh squeezed orange juice yeah or you know maybe it's early in the morning where you get like two to three hours to sit down and there's no there's no um there's no notification on your phone Mm -hmm. nobody's knocking at your door nobody's calling you you are undiv like there's no divided attention you're just thinking very deeply yeah. mm-hmm. about what you're working on right now. Mm-hmm. That's called deep work, according to him, mm-hmm. and how we, we don't do that at all. Like, we just sort of skim the yeah. surface. Yeah. And yeah. it was crazy. He recently made a point. He, he said two things. Number one, he said, as we move into the future with, um, you know, AI and all of this, like the people who are going to succeed are going to be, first of all, the ones who are really good with AI, and yeah. then second... Right. People who can do deep work, yeah. which is fewer and fewer and fewer people. Yeah, right. The reason For you sure. sit down to try to uh, pray or have any sort of quiet time mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you can't do it for more than four minutes because you're distracted yeah. is a very recent phenomenon. Like that used to, you used to be so much better at that. You just kind of forgot that you used to be good at it. Yeah. Yeah. The ability to go deep creatively mm-hmm. and deep with your presence mm-hmm. and tune Truly. into to God. But then the other quote he said, um, he's like, I can't, there's no other, 
There's no other thing that's ever happened where there's been so much damage happening in front of us mm. and nobody is doing anything about it. And yeah. everybody knows and you know, we'll, 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 we'll say it in a message and the congregation giggles, like we're all addicted yep. and everybody knows and nobody yeah. is doing anything yeah. about it. Yeah. Individually, you see yeah. very rare cases of that, but corporately especially, no. nobody's no, no, stopping no. it. No, no. It's wild. I've heard of, uh, maybe it was Utah, some states that are trying to implement like curfews mm -hmm. or some huh. sort of thing for social media apps for minors. Yeah. Some rules and put stuff put in place like that. I don't know how they monitor mm. or how they do that. I'm sure it's possible, but um, it does feel like, and I feel I felt convicted myself. I preached about phones maybe two years, two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. and after that message, I was like, I'm going to lock this thing down. Yeah, I, I just read books. I've learned so much, and then not that long after, you find yourself right back to this thing just being. An addiction and distracting yeah. me from so many things. I feel like I need checkpoints. It's kind of like eating well. Yeah. You kind of like, totally. ah, I've gotten into this place where I'm just not eating well again. Uh -huh. I need something to wake me back up to remember the health that I want in my life. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Even, okay. So even like where we're at in history, the fact that you can have three meals a day and snack in between yeah. is like relatively a new phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we don't have the self control for it. Yeah. No. And so, the same exact thing is true for, yeah. I just pointed at the ground because my phone's on the ground. Yeah. The same Keep thing it. is Keep true for there. phones, you know? Yeah. Um, it's, we don't have, the world we're living in now, mm -hmm. our brains aren't <clears throat> made for it or ready for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a, an awesome morning this morning, and this doesn't happen often, um, but from the time I woke up until 8.30 when I was heading out the door, I hadn't touched my phone mm. so much so that I went to like get in my car. I grabbed my mm. lunch out of the fridge Whoa. and my keys and I got in my car and I turned my car on and then realized, oh, I don't have my phone. Mm. It's still charging in my room. Wow. And that it rarely ever happens, but it was also this incredible morning. Yeah. It was fruitful. I, I got yeah. some work done. I got some progress on the sermon. I worked out all of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then like... 30 minutes later, I, f I feel myself just right back into the yeah. yep. like, attachment that you feel yeah. to your phone of like, well, I got to get back to that person. I got to respond to yeah. that person. It's, it's wild. Well, it's hard too because it is like food in a way, a necessity in some aspects right. mm. of contact with family or like work things that you do need to do. And yeah. um, so it's this challenging thing that we all kind of need. Mm hmm but no one can control. Mm. Uh -huh. I felt so convicted when you <laughs> totally said, like quoted whoever said we're skimming our, our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, you said, uh, are you child like, don't miss it. What's your <clears throat> it? Yeah. I'd yeah. love to know what you guys would have to say about that. One of mine is like you talked about, it can be easy in the car with the kids to just listen to music. Yeah. And I think uh -huh. about car rides I've had oh, with dude. Zeke where uh -huh. I'm like, let's just listen to some music because I'm tired or whatever. I'm distracted. I'm mm -hmm. thinking about my sermon or my fantasy football team or whatever, instead of getting to know my child more. Mm -hmm. well, because of not just my phone, but the state of distracted life that we live in. Right. That those have bred in our brains. Oh, yeah. What other things? What do you feel like we miss? What's the it that you're missing because of distraction? Mine is, I just have, a, I've always had a deep sense that there is more of God to experience, mm. that there's more of the Holy Spirit to experience, and that um, you, you always get what you need, but there's there's deeper levels that you can yeah. you can um, venture into if you want it. Mm -hmm. And every time I get distracted, I just feel like I'm mm -hmm. I'm just skimming the surface yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. of my relationship with God. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, I would say honestly, being in being present in, I think that quote was John Orberg, and he said, mm -hmm. the danger is not that we will renounce our faith altogether. The danger is that we will settle for, we'll be so distracted that we start to settle for a mediocre version of it. Yeah. So instead of sort of diving to the depths of every moment and experiencing it, we'll mm -hmm. skim the surface of our lives. Yeah. And every um, philosopher, you know, of every sort of, religion 
every teacher of every sort of religion, it's funny, universally agrees where joy is, mm. is presence mm. to the moment that you're currently in. Yeah. And so we just have an, uh, um, an infinite amount of ways to be distracted now. Infinite. And it's easier to be distracted than it is to be in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So joy is, is harder yeah. than distraction. And yeah. I think for that reason, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Big time, oh, yeah. And so for yeah. that reason, for me, that's it. So whether it's in the car with my kids mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. or whether it's a conversation with Sam at mm-hmm. night instead of having another show on, mm-hmm. um, good. those moments, man, like don't miss it. Yeah. Don't, don't miss it. Um, it's, yeah. th- I've referred to this as a house of idols. Like it used to be, there'd be things, idols that would steal your attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Money, work, relationship, how people feel about Mm. you or whatever. Mm. Uh, Now it's all in one place all the time. Mm -hmm. All of it so easily accessible. Mm -hmm. Gosh. And uh, just disastrous when you really think about, like, Uh what's the uh, practicing his presence? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brother Andrew? Lawrence? Brother, or is Andrew Lawrence an actor? Well, you can you look up for Andrew Lawrence? Practicing, yeah. practicing his presence is one of the Lawrence the other brothers. Movies. Yes, it's an old yeah. book, but that is obviously an extreme. Like, dude lived in a monastery, right? Right. Um, mm-hmm. But all I talked about the presence of God. But when you that sounds, it's like reading a foreign language now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I remember reading that oh, years dude. ago, and it didn't quite feel that way as much as it does now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have the? Yeah. It's Brother Lawrence. Brother Lawrence. Brother Lawrence. From go. the Lawrence brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout which, out. There's three brothers. Which one? He was the first one <laughs> centuries ago. Got it. Okay. Uh, but like the simple practices in that yeah. guy's life of just whatever, when he was working, whatever he was doing, he was always trying to practice the presence of God in his yeah, life. And so I, that's good, man. To, yeah. To what you said too. So this is a good quote from Spurgeon. Permit not your minds to be easily distracted mm. or you will often have your devotion destroyed. And if you think about it in just the context of like a daily devotion time with God, yeah, it's so easily destroyed because of a million distractions, which is why it's such a good practical yeah. piece of advice to wait to wake up your phone. Yeah, wake up before your phone. Uh huh. Spend some time with God. Spend some time with your family. Mm-hmm. Eat a good meal. Mm-hmm. Exercise. Read whatever, and then yeah, bring That's this right. thing that could be a tool. Yeah. And don't let it be a trap right away at the beginning of your day. That's I said, so good, man. I said in the message, I said, um, if you wake up in the morning and the very first thing you have to do is grab a drink, yeah, yeah. that's a yeah. sign of addiction. You've got a problem. So if you wake up in the morning and the very first thing you have to do is grab your phone, man, that's a sign of... And every human hears that and goes, oh, that's me. Yep. yep. But and you but wake up and again, feel that. Once again, to quote Cal Newport, and yet nobody is yeah. going... Like, yeah. here's... We don't, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We mm-hmm. take what we do very seriously. Right. Yeah. Here's what I know about this podcast. Yeah. Just the same thing we know about every message we preach. Everybody's gonna agree with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, if this thing, if, if 100 people watch this, maybe one person's gonna do something about it. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I'm not yeah. throwing stones because we're guilty of this. Sure. While listening to this, while probably texting somebody yeah. with a show on in the yeah, background, huh? yeah. distracted, totally. yeah. not that watching this podcast is like, that's yeah. the most important part of my day, but right. Right. we can't do anything without five yeah. other things Dude. going on. Here, the, the, here's one action step for that one person. And I've said this mm-hmm. probably 10 times in 10 different sermons. I heard it from Simon Sinek. Go to Target and buy a $10 alarm clock. Oh I, yeah, I did you that. did that. I did that five years ago, and it yeah. was the best decision yeah. I've ever made because uh-huh. I keep my phone on the other side of the room, mm-hmm. and it's a it's a terrible way to wake up because it's like ah, 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 <laughs> they haven't fixed that. They, they haven't. Nobody no, created. There's, that there's some clock. nicer. There's I'm some sure, nicer sure there are. on Amazon that like have a sunrise effect in oh, your there room. You go. Oh yeah, nice. Um, yeah. We'll put a link to purchase one. That but actually sounds, we'll get a, we'll great. probably get a kickback. Yeah. Sponsor, to your point, one of our sponsors. To, to bring it back to the Do drink. Do we have room for more sponsors? I don't know, man. We have <laughs> yeah, so many. Yeah. So probably many. not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> if you need a drink to wake up, you have a problem. If yeah. you go to your phone right away, you have a problem. But also, like, you wouldn't tell someone who has a problem with drinking to grab a, a bottle of whiskey every morning and then put it back down and decide to, to go on yeah. with their day. Don't face so that balance. don't touch your phone in the morning. Mm. Right. Right. Uh-huh. Um, one of the ways I've been, I've been saying it in my own mind is 
stay detached from my phone. Mm -hmm. So the phone is a great tool. We know this. So many of you are listening, watching this right now on your phones. We love phones. It's great. But it's so easy to get attached to our phones and that's where the problems begin. Mm -hmm. And so if you can throughout the day consciously go, no, I'm going to stay detached from this. I don't need this. I don't yeah. need this. So for me, like when I get anxious, mm -hmm. I always find myself reaching for my phone. When I get bored, I reach for my phone, right? When I start to feel insecure, I reach for my phone. Mm -hmm. Those are all ways that I'm attached to my phone. Yeah. And so that's just what I say to myself. No, I'm, I'm doing this because I, I need it. So I'm going to put it down. I'm going to stay detached from this thing. And then it can just be a tool, a device that helps you connect with friends and do your job or whatever it is, Navigate to but you don't driving. need it. But to your point, that is a daily <laughs> battle. It's a battle. It's yeah. a real battle. I have a list of practical, other practical things to help. You guys feel free to chime in on. Oh, I might. Any of this. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I read this book called The TechWise Family. Yeah. That's really good. Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. There's some really good stuff out there. One of, so read and learn about the reality of the apps that you spend all your time on. Mm -hmm. Think people are more awake to the fact that social media is not neutral. Mm -hmm. It is, you are the product they're selling uh -huh. and it is designed to waste away, skim your life. Yes. Just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Yes. Um, the, a bedtime for your phone. Mm. Put your phone to bed outside of your room or on the other side of your room or away from you yeah. because that practically, you'll just sleep more at night if you don't take your phone to bed because I right. do this all the time. I'm reading ESPN articles for another hour uh -huh. mm -hmm. before I go to sleep totally and I man. wake up the next morning. Mm -hmm. Why did I do that? You um, know what I love is uh, Eric Robinson. He runs kids at our church. He, he has something where it'll send you a notification. Like for instance, when he's driving, mm -hmm. I'll text him. I get that text back all yeah. the time that says I'm driving right yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm focused and yes. I, I'll text you back when I get a chance. Yep. Mm -hmm. So even something like a tool as, as simple as that, because here's, I think this was from like three or four years ago, um, 40,000 people a year in our country get killed on the road. Mm. Jeez. One fourth of those are because of cell phones. Jeez. So that's 10,000. So a quarter of Ugh. accidents, a quarter of deaths are, um, they're so much so they say you're safer as a drunk driver than you are as a driver with a phone. My gosh. Mm -hmm. Lord. So that's another good practical thing on the list. Yeah. Put your phone away while you're driving. Yeah. For the sake of families. Don't be, road, don't be distracted. Next to you. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, bedtime for your phone. Wake up before your phone. We talked about that morning mm. time. Uh, get a real alarm clock. Make time then for solitude. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalm 46, 10. I just put that. Be still and know that I am God. Yeah. Nobody knows that he's God because nobody's still. Isn't that wild? Ever. Mm. A, a prerequisite, according to the psalmist, for knowing God is stillness. Yeah. So it takes seven minutes for a conversation to actually get into a place of real conversation, which is why most conversations are small talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm. how, how often do you give God seven minutes? Oh, you're divided. just kind of processing through and, wow. and then mm -hmm. dive into a real conversation. Jeez. With By the um, way, encouragement for the, the person watching who goes, well, I try to have a quiet time, but I just get so distracted. It's like, yeah, but you have to keep going. That's yes. part yeah. of it. Yeah, push, you need to push wade through that. Through it's that. okay. Uh -huh. That's part of we being a human. practice it. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you talked about this recently. Turn your phone off for one hour a day, one day a week, one week a year. Yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, sounds yeah. insane. Insane now. It would be life-changing. For a whole day? Mm-hmm. I can, yeah, whole, I can wow. remember days in high school where I probably left my phone at my parents' house because oh, I just went sure. to my buddy's house yeah. and I didn't even think about yeah. it. Yeah, and you were fine. And everything just continued on. Uh, when you go to churches, weddings, mm -hmm. lunch, dinner, coffee, happy hour, meet up with somebody, turn your phone off or put it on do not disturb. Yeah. The f <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can I, can I As you guys in? know, that's, well, that's one of my favorite things about the podcast. That's in your top 10, your top nine favorite things. It's just things. so loud. It's so <laughs> loud. Um, the, are the mics able to pick it up? Can you hear it? Okay, good. No, I want to I wanna let you finish that list in a second. Yeah. But I wanted to say one thing about this list and about what you just said where people yeah. go, man, I tried, to, I tried to focus, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. um, I love something I heard Craig Rochelle say recently, and I think it's in a book called The Power to Change. Can you really change? Mm. The answer is yes. You just have to go about it the right way, the smart way. And he says, stop trying and start training. Hmm. So stop 
trying just yeah. to be a focused person. Because then what are you going to do? You're going to try it once mm -hmm. and be like, oh, I guess I'm not a focused yep. person. Yeah. I tried and I can't do this. No, you, you can't spend 10 years walking into a forest yeah. and then turn around and expect to walk out of it in 10 minutes the first time you sit down. Mm. And so stop trying to be a focused person and start training yeah, to be yeah, a focused yeah. person. Yeah. I'm going I'm to be a little bit more focused tomorrow than I was today. That's great. And yeah. by this time next week, by by January, by you know what I mean? I'm yeah. gonna be a more I'm gonna start um, I mean, what's Romans twelve? Don't be conformed to the patterns of this world. Yeah. Distraction is a pattern of this world. Oh yeah. But be transformed, which is just like a, a deep word for um, true change, mm -hmm. I think, by the renewing of your mind. Oh, mind. So this has wired all of our brains to a, a place that's very distracted, but your brain, if it, if it can be wired in that direction, it can be wired back in this direction. Good, yeah. You just have to, you just have to own it mm -hmm. and you have to stop trying and you have to start training to do it. That's good. That's good. The, and I, the iPhone and I'm sure Androids do have now do not disturb work mode, different focus modes for mm -hmm. you where your phone won't send you alerts how many people actually take the time to yeah. program that into their phone? Uh -huh. uh, this is a good one. Schedule time to check notifications rather than obeying the beckon of every single one. Even on your calendar. Ooh, mm -hmm. Like, okay, for the last 10 minutes of this hour, Ooh. I will check all my notifications. But for 50 minutes, mm -hmm. I'm not going to just keep answering. And that was one of the things, the social dilemma, that documentary yeah, pointed yeah, out. Of, right. It is very strategic when you get notifications. <sighs> when you've been away for too long, yeah. they'll draw you right back in. And they know if they can grab you with one notification, you'll be on your phone for another hour. So mm -hmm. scheduling time. Man. This is from Steph, my wife. Stop apologizing for responding later. That's such a big one. I do that every single day. Every day. Yep. Because I'm so bad at texting. Because we're well, because people can reach you in five different ways uh -huh. now. And you feel yeah. like everyone's always like, oh, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to That's, respond. Okay, so that means we now feel a social pressure that we've just created yes. that you have to respond immediately, mm -hmm. which means put down your time with your kids and get to this yep. person that needs something from you. Yep. Right. And if you don't, you better apologize when you finally get to it. Yeah. Right. That's, that's wild. And how many messages do you get? Like, hey, I know it's your day off, or hey, you're probably with your yeah. family, or I know you're on vacation, but... Yeah. Uh -huh. Just, yeah. dude, as just a rule don't say of thumb, that because you don't mean it. Dude, as a rule of thumb, can we just all agree that when you start a text message that way, you go, oh, I'm not supposed to send <laughs> this yet. <laughs> and put it down. Yeah, yeah, leave you alone. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I know you're on your honeymoon, but I hope you're preparing questions for the next podcast. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. That's like the, I don't usually do this, but <laughs> it's like, but. if you start with that, yeah. just don't. Just don't I, do it. I normally don't comment on social media, <laughs> yeah. but. Yes, oh, you do. Yeah, well, you, <laughs> you are sure that person do. now, so. Welcome. <laughs> yep. Uh, use time in the you car. You can comment, but you're no. But now you are. You social have to media leave that commenter. club behind. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so th here's one: get off social media if you can't totally. handle it. Yep, totally. I'm. Is, I am uh, 24 days in. Go, dog. Nice. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Say more. No, I'm, no, not like I'm going mad because yeah. I don't have my drug of choice anymore. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm mad because I don't know what somebody we went to high school with had for lunch. Today. Yeah. <laughs> I just... No, the same kind of feeling I've had um, thinking about prescription medication. Mm -hmm. And like, mm -hmm. I'm mad. I feel like a, something was stolen from me. Good. Yep. And that's how I feel about social. Yeah. Like right now, I'm, yeah. I, I will have some kind of relationship with it. Right. But I'm taking more time to, I want to define what that is and yeah. have a system for it before I go, rather than be in it and then sort of defining what my relationship yeah. with it is and making a system mm -hmm. for it. I want to be thinking, um, I want to be present and thinking mm -hmm. fully about what do I want most more than I want, what do I want now? Mm -hmm. What do I want most for my life? So good, and I, I have to get to a place first where I can think clearly about that. And do, like, I don't think I would have it if I wasn't a pastor. Mm -hmm. And if so much of what we do for Red Rocks wasn't through social media, I don't think I would have it at all. Totally. So I know, okay, I'm, I'm to be effective and I do want to be that as much as possible. I, I need to have some kind of relationship with it, but mm -hmm. I don't know yet what that is. Yeah. And so I'm going to wait until I know. That's great. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, but you, I, yeah, so that's why I feel mad. I feel like yeah, all, a lot of little moments. How many moments I have where I'll, I 
reach for it. And I, the Instagram icon's not where it always used to be. Yeah. I'm like, I used to just, anytime I had 20 seconds to do nothing, I used to just go there and do yeah. that. And all of yeah. those moments were stolen from stolen. me. Yeah. Yeah. Or I gave them away. Right. To Silicon yep. Valley. Right, 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 right. You know, it's probably a mix of both. Yeah. To it watch another yep. like guy hit a, a driver <laughs> down a fairway. That's what all yeah. the videos are. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know? That's your algorithm right <laughs> there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Surfing videos and golf videos. And they know. And mm-hmm. I'll just Yeah. It's so addicting, man. It's yeah. it's crazy. A good one if you are on social media is be selective about what accounts you follow. Yeah. And and do an honest assessment. How many of these bear fruit in my life and actually mm-hmm. like encourage me or bring something cool in my life? How many yeah. of these are just straight distraction? How yeah. many of these make me mad? Yep. And I'm happy for, for some reason when I'm upset. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because bitterness gives you a buzz. Yeah. yeah. Resentment releases a little bit of dopamine. That's oh, why those I, things work. Even like, just say this bluntly, a lot of guys like talking about battling lust. Mm. It's like, well, you probably should unfollow a whole lot of the accounts you follow. <laughs> Because there's that's a constant right distraction. There. You get right. on Instagram and you're gonna see all kinds of mm-hmm. crazy stuff on there. It's not oh, gonna help yeah. you. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yep. gonna distract you from being alive. Yep, and yeah. free. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, another one, make some house rules mm-hmm. about yeah. phones. We a couple years ago we had friends giving at our house, mm-hmm. and I made a basket with a sign on it that said "Leave your phones in here." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And since then I have had people from that friend group like hey next time we're all together are you gonna make us do that like make us do please make us do that yeah make some house rules one of those should be no phones or tv for family dinners have family dinner so this was interesting back in the day the hearth was the center of the home Mm -hmm. which was the fire for warmth so the family would sit around and have a conversation and eat then furnaces through technology came about Mm -hmm. and we didn't need the fireplace anymore the hearth no longer was where people were now the hearth is screens. Follow your hearth, Ryan. Here's oh, the crazy yeah. thing. The word hearth, <laughs> the Latin word for From focus. Hearth. hearth is the Latin word no for focus. No way. No way. So you sit around a table and you're focused on your family because you're talking to each other. You're eating, you're engaging in a meal. And now the hearth is screens that take all of our focus. There's so some line in some <laughs> TV show. I can't remember what, like someone says they don't have a TV and the other guy goes, you don't have a TV? What is all your furniture fo- like pointed at? Yeah, that's so <laughs> good, man. <laughs> that's funny. Some of the, the best moments I've had with friends, uh, like good conversations, good nights, hanging out. We've had a fireplace on the TV because <laughs> it's like it's almost like subconsciously yep. we're like we know we're going to be facing it there's something so cool let's about just turn on that that netflix video where it's just <laughs> <Yeah>. a fire <laughs> just to 100%. get back to the way it was supposed to be my Truly. wife loves that video especially <laughs> oh, where, yeah, yeah it's great it's just like three hours on youtube of a fire and it crackles it's the best not bad this is a conversation that i feel like my wife and i have but it's always kind of like well so do you when she's like get off your phone i'm like you're on your phone it's not helpful at all but like <laughs> what if you took like you would with other things you have people hold you accountable to in your life what if you asked your close friends hey am i distracted a lot of the time we hang out mm-hmm. do you oh. see my phone always out is this stealing yeah. our moments yeah together yeah because what always happens is and hold me accountable then. yeah can yeah. you actually call me out and be yeah. like, dude, you don't need to beat your phone right now. If there's, if there's yeah. like three people in a room hanging out and everybody's on their phone, as soon as one person puts down their phone, then they go, you guys are so distracted by your phone. <laughs> yeah. Even though you just put yours Wait, down on. and now you are like the yeah. leader of focus here for yeah, some yeah, reason, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, it's, you're like, more- <laughs> it's like the 22-year-old theologian who learned something and then all of a sudden gets mad at everybody yep. else for, for not thinking it that way. Yes. We're all that when it comes to phones. Oh, yeah. So true. <laughs> yep, the <laughs> moment you become a Calvinist, oh, dude. you're mad at everybody for not knowing what you just learned three days ago. Yep. You're angry, you dude, know? We're all Pharisees <laughs> with so phones. True. Pharisees Everyone's with so phones. Self-righteous. I'm so self-righteous just about apps i'll be like oh <laughs> yeah, get dude. off tiktok that's such a waste of time let me go read about the backup football. running back <laughs> yeah, for yeah exactly pills. exactly <laughs> dude totally yeah. you um, know what you know what it takes and you mentioned you mentioned lust and i i have preached on that preaching messages about breaking free from that speaking of alive and free and there's a verse that where paul says flee from sexual immorality yeah and that word flee sounds so dramatic the first time you read it mm-hmm. and legalistic <sighs> Like, okay, Paul, yeah. flee from, yeah. literally run away yep. from sexual immorality. Mm-hmm. And I do think something similar about everything we're talking about, um, where someone could listen to this and go, okay, extreme <laughs> you guys. guys are dramatic. Right. However, if you want freedom from this, only unreasonable 
men and women or men and women who are yeah. willing to be unreasonable Good. about how much they flee or distance themselves from what is consuming all of their precious attention mm -hmm. are gonna truly start to um, live a little bit more alive and free yeah. in a distracted and digital dystopia kind of age. Yes. Dude. Yeah, yeah it's where the current is heading. We always use that surfing analogy at, at Thalia, how the, the current would just always yep. pull you south right. unless you are constantly swimming against it. Mm -hmm. And unless you're willing to be unreasonable with all of these, this list that Ethan just, just read off, yeah. you're just going to drift. Yeah. yeah, It's inevitable. One of the things, the last thing I had on there, and I said this years ago, get a flip phone, yeah. try it. So See, that sounds so extreme and unreasonable. So this yeah. guy, older guy, came up oh, to me yeah. after and he's like, I'm doing it. And then I saw him a week <laughs> later and he's like, yeah, I went and got a flip phone and I started trying it out. But then I took it back and just got a smartphone again because I couldn't really use it. It didn't help me for anything. <laughs> but at least he tried. At least he tried. Okay, well, let's just uh, let's get practical as we're closing up here. What's, let's just model this as friends. What's one thing that we can each do hmm. to fight distractions? We've talked about our phones the whole time, which is also telling. Yeah. We didn't really talk about any other distractions there's other things that distract us. Yeah. It's clear what the this in, this primary into distractions. This a phone podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You could kill your phone. Just break it. Uh, do it. Do it. Do what's it. one thing? <laughs> what's one thing? I hate that thing. <laughs> what's one thing that you can do practically, and then we can check in on each other? But for hey, each other. Are you still... Like, am I saying one thing that, that no, you no, no, should no. do? No, no, no. You say one for you, and we'll... <laughs> Let's try it. Let's not overcomplicate this. <laughs> we do like to do that. Turn to the person to your right. If you Call them be, out. If you could be in any animated show, cool. What about, let's talk about our favorite books as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here, I'll say mine first. Okay, yeah, yeah you yeah. go first. What I want to do mm -hmm. is with my morning routine, my phone wakes up after I've spent time with my family. Mm -hmm. So I'll work out and like listen to music, whatever, but checking notifications, all that, I'm not gonna get into any of those things. Not gonna get on any of those apps until I have gone through my morning routine, gotten my boys up, my wife, seen them all, spent time having breakfast, and then once we're off for the day, the phone comes out. When I get home from work, put my phone away until my kids go to bed. Nice. Okay. That's give a 15 do. second morning routine. What do you do? Like, what do you tell me? You wake up at around what time and then, so what are we talking? All the so things I wake that up are going to be involved with you not having a phone. Wake up at 5.30, go work out. Yeah. Uh, but it's Bluetooth for music, so I'm going to give myself that. Yep. Because okay. I won't be on my phone. I'll just pick a playlist, listen while mm -hmm. I work out. Sure. And then I'll come home probably an hour later, and they start getting up. Yeah, okay. 6.30 to 7, make breakfast, hanging yeah. out. Um, and then they'll probably be gone by 8. Mm -hmm. Steph takes Zeke over to school. So okay. then... Then my phone gets to wake up. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. What do you got? Um, I think reading for 30 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to commit to that and really, really start to make that a habit. I remember two weeks ago, I don't know if you remember our conversation, oh, yeah. where I, I, I was reading every single day for about 30 minutes. Uh -huh. And I was just like sharp in our conversation, mm -hmm. full of energy, thinking mm -hmm. well. I was like, dude. I haven't felt this focused in years. Yeah. And I think it's because I've been reading. I promise you it is. Black ink on paper mm -hmm. for, for 30 minutes a day. You like books, Ryan? <laughs> or, book, or books, Ryan. Yeah. I'm telling you guys. No, I'm you're right. No, I'm right. telling you You're 100% yeah. right. right. Not, not, listening, not listening to audiobooks. Dude. I can consume more information and content when I listen to a podcast or watch a, yeah. mm -hmm. watch a sermon. Like if, a, if there's... If John Mark Comer releases a new book, he'll probably have four or five messages about it online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can pick up more from those four to five sure. messages in less time. Mm -hmm. But what's better for my ability to concentrate and focus, yeah. if the future belongs to the undistracted, is actually reading a book. And I think it's, I think the reason I consume energy better through this is because I'm out of practice mm -hmm. consuming energy through mm -hmm. books. I have a question. Mm -hmm. That's so good, man. So, questions with Kayla. Questions oh. with Kayla. Back. Yeah. <laughs> Kindles. Ryan, maybe you can, I don't know. It's like mm -hmm. electronic kind of, mm -hmm. but it's still a book. Do yeah. you think that that's like hitting a dopamine that like phones do? Mm -hmm. 
because it's, it's electronic and yet you're still question. like consuming information. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? That's a great question. I, my answer is I, it's a way better option than like not reading. Um, it's a really efficient way to read, especially when you're traveling. We have a whole story we'll tell some time about we traveled for a year and we carried 80 books with us yeah. instead of one Kindle. <laughs> um, and so I like I would never I different times. I think it's a, a, a fine option. I also think that there's something to like a tactile actual page and it's I think it's more fun to turn a page mm -hmm. um, makes you feel like you're making more progress. But Kindles are like as light as a croissant. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, but it's better than <laughs> something that's going to send you notifications. Totally. So it's definitely. Yeah. A, yeah and I think even me. the screens on Kindles are, they're not as they don't they don't make um, you stay inject for an as hour. much dopamine because oh, yeah. they're not as clear and as bright. Yeah. It's more of like yeah. a papery finish to it. Yep. Yeah. And more dim. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Totally. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Great question. Yeah, that is a good that question. Mm -hmm. Um, way to kindle that fire. <laughs> uh, what was your word for it? Hearth. Hearth. Nice. It's my first time learning that that word. Focus. Yeah, hearth. You're an from, author, aren't you? From head to hearth. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, mine's going to be... Doesn't speak Latin like me and you. No, 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 no. This week is going to be meals. Um, not not having any other distractions during meals to actually nice. taste my food. That's good. So all the senses. I, th I feel like a lot of this journey is learning how to um, use our senses mm -hmm. again. And a big one that I just just punt on is food because it'll be like I'll grab something between meetings or whatever. Yeah. But to sit down with no phone, mm. no screens, take a bite, enjoy the bite, put your fork, my, my fork and knife down in between bites mm -hmm. and enjoy the experience of eating. Like if you think about it, like God created us to need to eat for a reason. Like he, he didn't. Yeah. He could have chosen any any way yeah. to to get energy or whatever. Um, I think it was to remind us to slow down hmm. a couple of times a day and uh, enjoy food. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, I'll just say that I want to add on to just what I said about not using my phone until I've spent time with my family. The why behind that yeah. is because I think about when I first spend some time with God and I'm undistracted, then I know the Father's heart. And then I want my kids to get a reflection of the father's heart rather than a distracted dad who's mad because he lost his fantasy football game last night mm -hmm. or is already stressed out because he has a bunch of things he's got to get to today. Yeah. So I want that download for the sake of the people then that I mm -hmm. go welcome into the day, the people mm -hmm. I'm going to be around that I'm, I'm there. Mm. Now they can experience that through me instead of what I they normally it, do. Great answer. That's so Any, uh, speaking of Kindles, <laughs> books... <laughs> physical books this is actually this is probably important to show people this is what a book looks like <laughs> an actual book this is a great recommendation wow. great book you guys any favorite books we did ask that question we teased a, everyone they've been waiting this whole episode to hear any oh answers to that this is a great cover although you're really not supposed to judge these things by that <laughs> <laughs> the content's even better <laughs> any books before we close up favorite books nonfiction, fiction doug's rules <laughs> Um, nonfiction. I didn't think about that. In, in, yeah. Well, yeah. you weren't distracted, so good for you. Oh, thank you. Nice. I appreciate that. You were that. fully present in this I'll, conversation. I'll go. If, if you're looking for a good uh, nonfiction book, um, and maybe if, if you haven't read many, many books and you're looking for a, a, a good way to um, start, Donald Miller, who we shouted out last week, mm. um, has a couple of his, his earlier books. Are, the current stuff he's doing is great. Mm -hmm. Earlier books were more memoir Mm -hmm. um, focused. And I've always found that memoir is like telling your story. Mm -hmm. yep. I found that that's a really good way to really get invested into a book, especially if the memoir has a, a good message mm -hmm. attached to it. Um, blue like jazz is mm -hmm. probably his, his most famous a million miles in a thousand years and scary close, which yeah. you read from those three. Um, he's got, he's got more before, yeah. but those yeah. three are huge. Um, when I was 19, I went to visit you in Australia and I was trying to figure out faith and mm -hmm. everything I believed about God. And I brought blue like jazz with me. Yeah. And every time you were in class, I would go to a beach, I'd get lost somewhere in, mm. in Sydney, sit on, lay on a beach, with no and phone, no phone, man, and read. And by the end of that book, I was like, Oh, I get it. Mm. I have, I believe in God. That's cool. And so that's really like cool. jazz is a fun wow. one. 
That's really cool. Um, and then my answer is a book called The Greatness Mindset by Lewis Howes. Nice. nice. Lewis Howes has a podcast called The School of Greatness. Mm -hmm. And I just love that guy. Yeah. He, um, he just interviews the smartest people in the world, the most like effective mm -hmm. people making the greatest impact experts in their field. And he just asks questions. And he's really good at asking nice. questions. Cool. And he just consolidated all of that into into one book. Cool. So I admire him and I mm -hmm. admire his ability to humbly ask questions Great, and yeah. then to communicate all of that wisdom. So that's The Greatness Mindset by Lewis nice. House. Good. Mm -hmm. I'll recommend Divine Romance by Gene Edwards. Dude. Awesome book. Great. It's so good. Well, there you have it, folks. A great day together. Episode nine. A lot of talk about phones. Mm -hmm. I would love to know people that watch this podcast or listen yeah. to this podcast if you make a change or do something, Ooh. send it to us, yeah. to Red Rocks Austin, comment mm -hmm. on something. I would love to hear people's practical yeah, changes great. they make and what it does. Yeah. Um, so share that with us. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back to talk about... Comparison. Killing the things that are killing you. Comparison. So that we can be alive and free. Yeah. Until next time. Let's go. Go Buffs. Go Broncos.